everyone. Welcome to another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Catching us on Instagram TV, YouTube, our blog, wherever you're getting this content. We appreciate you. So today I want to talk about, in the wake of Giving Tuesday, which just wrapped up, how do you calculate true ROI of a campaign? So, you know, this is not just specific to Giving Tuesday. It's not just specific to nonprofits. And oh my God, my hair looks crazy from this hat I was wearing. <clears throat> but what it is is like when you try to calculate true ROI, I don't think that you can just calculate dollars in and dollars out. What do I mean by that? So sometimes the true measure of a campaign can't be quantified until months later because nowadays we have something called social reach. So when you're doing campaigns and especially when you're producing, let's say, videos like this or you're sending emails or a lot of social posts, that stuff is going to be passed around. That stuff is going to also build onto a brand awareness and it's going to start building momentum and keep your nonprofit, keep your brand, keep your company, keep your service top of mind when it comes to the next campaign. So every campaign should you do things consistently. And again, you know, I'm a big believer in consistency and doing what you say you're going to do and making sure that you keep your brand promises. Everything that you do builds on that consistency and it builds momentum. And I'm a, uh, again, I'm a believer that momentum begets momentum. So when you start things rolling, your audience is going to start to understand what to expect from you and what you should be, what they should come to know of you and how your tone and how your, the voices of your, of your campaigns. <clears throat> also, you know, when you tell a great story, you can't really measure the, the the significance of the story until some time has passed. And then you can truly measure how things resonate with people. So when you're calculating ROI, don't be short-sighted and just do dollars in, dollars out. Try to give it some time. Try to give it some, some time to marinate, some time to breathe. And then you can calculate how things really affect the big picture in the long run. Hey, thanks for checking us out for more episodes like this. You can get us at trinitywebmedia.com slash podcasts or on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all those good places. So talk to you soon.